In today's video, we're going to look at how you can insert columns in Excel. So inserting columns is useful when you've got a range of data, a table of data, and you want to add additional information into that table, but you don't want to start from scratch or delete the um, range or table of data or anything like that. So we've got a list of names here, which are employees of a company, and the join date is when they join the business. And let's say in column C, what I actually want is a column of information with the department that those employees are in. So to do that, um, what I can do is just select column C by clicking on it and then right clicking and then insert. And then basically Excel will move the column across one to the right. And then I can have a new column heading here. I can put department and then I could put in all the information. So marketing, IT, etc. I'm not going to populate all that, but you can see what I could do. Now I'm just going to um, go back with control Z. Um, something else to point out is that I can actually add multiple columns in at one time. So to do that, instead of just clicking on one column, you have to click on multiple columns. So if you want two columns added, uh, you'll do two, three, you'll do three, and then four, you'll do four, for example. And then once you've got your four columns uh, highlighted, let's say we want to add uh, four new columns in with various bits of information, I can then just right click again and insert, and then I've got my four new columns added, ready to have information put into them. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.